And so to end the fight, Spock, young Spock crashes the ship into the Nero ship. But but he crashes, mm-hmm. he destroys actually he actually destroys both of the ships. And my thought was, does he does Spock as a Starfleet officer, mm-hmm. does he have a duty to preserve to preserve these ships? I think so. Hmm. Boom. Boom. Black hole. So he, Spock sacrifices the ship and, and all the mm-hmm. red matter on the ship. Yeah. So this is, this is technology. So, so there's two things here. There's technology of the red matter that the Federation could mm-hmm. have used, either either weaponized or yep. as a stopping other supernova events. And that information is gone now. Mm-hmm. Also, the ship. The, the ship, I, I really think that there would be a standing order for all Federation officers to capture any foreign, any alien technology, and especially true of future technology. Now, now you might worry that, oh, there's timeline issues. Like you, you don't want technology from the future because then it could, you, you could affect the timeline, but we're well, we're well past that. So the timeline has been altered. It's been forked. It's a completely different timeline, in which case this technology is not from your future. It's from a future that no longer exists or, or, or exists, but you can't access however you want to think about it. And so I think you really should have captured and we should, should have kept both vehicles because who knows, who knows what, like if they had this technology, when mm-hmm. humans encounter the Borg, Humans may not lose so bad to the Borg. I mean, we win eventually, but so many people die. So really, you should catch, you should keep preserve the ships. Preserve the ships however you can. Okay, so how... Okay, this was their method to take out the ship, right? How were they going to disable uh, the Narada? That's the name. Nero ship is the Narada. How are they going to disable the Narada without this method? Because if they don't take it out with the red matter, they seem to not have the capability to take out the Narada at all. So this is kind of like a Hail Mary attempt and they destroyed both ships because they were, Spock was forced to. It, so they blew up the Med Radar, that created the black hole that pulled the Narada in, pulled the Spock's new ship in and they lost them both. If they want to preserve them, how would they go about not destroying them, but disabling them? I'm not sure they have the capability could improvise some kind of like partial red matter thing but now you're like i don't know how the containment works now i got it i got it get ready, okay, ready. Okay. let's hear it let's hear it so on spock's ship they have the hypodermic needle where they pull out red matter yep. and put it inside a tube do that do yep. that again teleport it in teleport it just, in. just teleport the red matter into the narada and then spock ship survive so yeah you lose the narada bummer but which would which would have been super good because then you have an alien groups technology, but at least you get to save Spock ship. And that's is Star that, Trek, right? Teleport is that in. guaranteed to work? Maybe a drop works for a planet, but won't work for a small ship. Send a bunch. Just teleport, 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 teleport. Dep- I guess if you have a bunch of those syringes. You send. I wonder, could, could you even just teleport a chunk of the of the ball? Just there's a big old red sphere, of red matter, and just teleport just directly out. Just send a bit. Or heck, if you, That's just, risky. If you have three syringes, do it. Yeah. No. I, I. Gosh. I like the plan. Gotcha. I like it, but the fancier you get with the plan, the the less likely it is to work. So instead, just right. ram it. More get it done. Take it. That being said, ram um, it. You got to get close. If you just do a kind of close-ish nearby, then teleport in. That might be even easier. Stay out can of you, targeting range. Can you teleport red matter? Because I have no idea. the advanced Narada ship had to take it into the syringe and like throw the little probe down into the planet. They didn't seem to use the teleporter to do that. Maybe it's unteleporterable. So. It's and it's the Narada is advanced because it's from the future. Yeah. However, it's a it's a mining ship. Yeah. And so I I would imagine that the this jewel of the Vulcan Science Academy this mm-hmm. is better tech than the Narada. Okay. And I don't know if we ever see the Romulans teleport. 
Can they? Pro- I think they, probably. They, they must probably. be able probably. to. They have probably. to be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. And remember, Earth is on the line here. Like, the Federation is on the line. If they mess this up because they were trying yeah. something fancy, then they lose everything. So a, a guaranteed victory is better than an ideal victory. Unless you could, like, do a quick test that didn't reduce the chances that much to try to save the ships so you could use the tech. Hmm. And then this is your backup. Gosh. So you're saying take a quick trip to Romulus, send little red matter in, see if it works, and then you come back and finish the fight. Yeah, yeah. Just a little, do a little diversion. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Gosh. oh yeah, yeah, wait. So Nero, okay. So Nero almost destroys the Federation. Yeah. He's like fully, fully angry, right? But yeah. in this universe, it, for this timeline, first of all, it's back in the past. And then it's a different timeline. Couldn't yeah. Nero in those 25 years just go to Romulus and be like, oh, the planet's here still. Like, it, It's okay, actually. And in fact, in fact, he should deliver his ship to the Romulan Empire because it's, it's high tech compared to whatever this was, however many years in the past, right? And that would give the Romulus, that would give Romulans a huge leg up in the Alpha Quadrant. Mm-hmm. I mean, in which case, it, then he doesn't need to do the anything. Domin- they would dominate Starfleet. He Romulans would do anything. Just, and, and he would have helped his people. Right. So he would have helped his people. And then the Romulans would have dominated the Federation, not only the Federation, but the Klingons and the Cardassians and all of them. Right. Mm-hmm. And they would have been able to take on the Dominion years later because mm-hmm. their tech would be so advanced. Mm-hmm. So why didn't he do that but he did say that they him and romulus stand apart like he holds a grudge so much that future enemies that haven't even been born yet will not allow him to go take it to romulus what i don't get it are you such what it doesn't make any sense i mean i'm 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 very confident that if he showed up he's like i'm from the future i'm romulan you're romulan i want to give you this tech like romulans would be like yeah 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 we like weapons yeah yeah, they would totally. Even if they didn't turn it into weapons or whatever, they just use it as a mining ship. They made more of the mining ships. Like, yeah, we like faster resources. We like big ships. Sure. Sure. No, absolutely. He weird, decided weird not Nero. to t- Yeah, well, Nero is a weirdo. Studying history, holding on to grudges, <laughs> denialist. I'm, I'm too busy reading these books to advance the Romulan culture. <laughs> and, and an amazing captain. He holds his crew together for 25 years. It's true. He's all that over conviction, the place. That conviction, uh, <laughs> it's inspiring. <laughs>